I'm going to ask you questions, Paul. Is that all right? Okay. Yeah, I'm going to interview fine. you. Um, I just want to know about when you first started going to the Blues and sort of who you went with. And well, the war was on. It was during the it was during the Second World War when I used to go with a friend of mine, an older friend of mine, um, uh, named Stuart, and. I, he used to take me to the occasional game during the war, and he used to get players from other clubs guesting, because there wasn't a, a Division One and a Division Two and Division Three. There was a League North and a League South, because most of the players were in the forces, and uh, they would guest for the club that they were closest to. So if a Blues player was in, say, Newcastle, he'd play for Newcastle, and likewise, we had loads of players, famous players, play for Blues during that period because they were guest players. Oh. Um, and Blues actually won the league, set before they were the war ended, or just at the end of the war, they won the league, so. God, that must feel and like then, years and years yeah. ago then. Yeah, yeah. At the back end of the, at the, back end of the war, around about 1945, they, they won the league, so. They came top of the league, so. And then after that, they reverted to Division One, Division Two, and so on. And Blues then were back in the position they were in prior to the war, so they went back into Division 2. Um, and then I was a regular, I was regularly going to the What was the St Andrews like? There was no comparison to what it is today. The Spine Cop stand was just um, ironwork, you know, it was like a, a skeleton. Right. They used to get in. Yeah, I used to, <laughs> when I was about 12, 13, we used to sneak in at the back of the Trinity. Yeah, <laughs> there was, yeah. There was a fence there, and there was a gap which involved wire on. We used to pull the wire apart and, <laughs> and sneak and in. Get in, and brilliant. We couldn't afford to go in. Um, and on this Wednesday after, Blues used to run three full teams in those days. They had a league team, then they had a central league side, which was the reserve side, then had a football combination side. Which were all like reserve to reserve leagues. Yeah, yeah. Um, and when I was at school, I used to go to board to the Green Tech, which is a couple of miles from the Blues Ground, up the road. And the trams used to run down Castle Road and Garrison Lane. And I used to come out of school at four o'clock, jump on the tram, drop me off at Castle Road at the entrance there, and I used to go into the game because the gates were open just you know twenty minutes, thirty minutes from the end. Yeah. The gates were open. I used to go in and watch the last half hour of the game. Oh, brilliant! Yeah. So it's changed it was, a lot since then, since then to now. Then we're getting yeah. in stadiums. But the crowds in those days, Harley, were amazing. I mean, you used to get an average gate at Blue on a Saturday, thirty thousand. You can't believe it. Yeah. I mean, the crowds were huge. Was it was was there much else to do back then though, other than like on a Saturday go and watch the football? Well, I don't know. You see, it. everybody was either a blue supporter or a Villa supporter, um, but the quality of the people in those days were good. You got no hooliganism. You yeah. got no like anything like that. The kids they used to hand over over the top of the crowd. Children, they would hand them over the t and they would put them at the front. Yeah, see, it would never happen and nowadays, would it? Having the children on their hands over, over everybody's heads. Amazing. Um, but it, it, they were wonderful days. Wonderful yeah. days. Was uh, any, was, who's, your, who's your best player you've ever seen in like the last 80 years in the blue well, shirt? My favourite player was Gilbert Merrick, the goalkeeper. Yeah. He was a fantastic goalkeeper. The, probably the best player I've ever seen was Trevor. Yeah. Uh, I mean, he was amazing. Yeah, we, yeah. We thought, when he got his hat trick against Bolton, four goals, four goals, and he was only sixteen. I mean, come on, he was absolutely an amazing player, um, and we loved him and yeah. Bob Latchford. Yeah. Um, but there's been so many great players there. Um, it's difficult to name, but Trevor is definitely, without a doubt, the best player I've seen. What about op opposition players? I've seen a lot. I've seen Tommy Lord, and I've seen Stanley Matthews. I've seen uh, George all, Best, George Best, wow. Bobby Chuck. You name them. I've seen them all. They've all been there at some time or another. Um, They're it, all in that category, then. Really, it's a tough one to answer, isn't it? One particular player. I suppose Stanley Matthews was amazing, really, because. You just couldn't get the ball off him. Yeah. You know, he, he danced down that ring. He was only tiny. 
He can stand that ring. He just couldn't get the ball off it. Oh, great. Uh, what about manager? Who's your favourite manager you've ever had? Manager? I don't know, really. Um, I remember going way, way back. We had a manager named Harry Storer when I first started to support Blue. But then we had Stan Collis, the famous Stan Collis. He was a manager of Blue's. And one of the best black managers we ever had, I think, was the guy we nicked from the villa. Um, was it name? Ron Saunders. Ron Saunders. They used to sing, we'll take more care of you, Ron Saunders. <laughs> the, the villa, Ron Saunders. Yeah, he was a good manager for us. Um, and Barry Fry? Oh, he was fun. <laughs> Barry Fry used to come and buy suits off. Did guy. he, yeah? Yeah, he was fantastic. He's a, a great character. Yeah, yeah, I've met him before. He's a good character. You used to play in goal, didn't you? Yeah, years ago. What was the uh, football like back in the days when you played? Well, it was only, you know, amateur football I used to play. I used to play for the school and I used to play for uh, a, a youth club called Brookvale. Then I played for the Linden Pub on a Sunday. Um, it was, uh, was... I played as many three, four times over a weekend for yeah. Friday. So it was, it was what all lads did in those days. All lads thought the football. There was nothing much else to do. Yeah, of course. Not television and stuff like that in those days. Mm. But um, no, it's been a, 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 good, a good football life. What's your, what's your proudest moment as a Blues fan then? I'm sorry? Your yeah. proudest moment as a Blues fan? Oh, that's probably the League Cup final, isn't it? Yeah. When we beat Arsenal. I mean, that was amazing. But we also had a, a, a trip to Wembley went in the auto windscreens, remember that? <clears throat> and also when we went to uh, Cardiff and we um, got promoted and Darren Carter got the penalty, mm -hmm. that, was a, that was a great... Uh... What about your trip in the Fairs Cup out to... Oh yeah, I went to, I went to Barcelona, I seemed like Barcelona in the Fairs Fair Cities Cup. Okay. Um, and we did, we did, we should have beaten them. Oh really? Um, that's going back. We've got a photograph somewhere of getting on the plane. <laughs> Don Everall Travel, which was Doug Ellis's company. Yeah. Wow. So if you could relive one game in the last 80 years, what would you? What would it be? Pardon? If you, you could, could relive one game yeah. in the last 80 years. In the last 10 years? 80 years. I, don't know, I suppose the day we stayed off. Um, it's a couple of seasons ago we looked. Oh, and well, Harley scored against Fulham. Yeah. Or, or do you mean the Bolton one before? And when we went to Bristol City, when uh, Harry Redknapp was there running up. Oh, that was before, that was a year before I signed when yeah. Shea scored. That, that, yeah, was Shea. Great, that was a wonderful day. We had a great day. That and day. the day when you scored against Fulham, that was the day, that was another stay in that day. It was a nice day that day as well, weren't it? I think it made all the difference because yeah. then you could get out on the beers afterwards. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Yeah, you scored just before half time. Made it two 0 I think. Yeah, yeah, and they needed to win to get promoted, I think, didn't they? Yeah, yeah it was and just. They failed in the playoffs, didn't they? They, they didn't. No, they went to the filler in the playoffs. I That's think. right. Yeah. Last question: What would you say to any young locals who are just starting their journey as a Blues fan? You want me to answer truthfully? That's a tricky one. Yeah. I, it's been a rough ride for me going through as a Blues fan over the course of the last 80 years. But I say, be prepared for the ups, but also be prepared, be prepared, prepared for the downs because with Blues, you never know what it's going to be. Yeah. When the ups come, you know, they, they're, they're wonderful. Like the League Cup final and when we got promoted at, at Cardiff, they're wonderful days because you, you go in, you, you go in, not expecting to achieve anything and you actually achieve something. That yeah, was a good start. Oh, brilliant. Um, that's all I've got, Paul, but lovely to speak to you. It's lovely to speak to you, Harley, and all the very best. Thank Bye. you very much. Nice to meet you. Stay safe as well. All the best. Bye for now. Bye. See ya. Bye-bye.